Antioch, 1515 AD. Today, 43,082 women have been tried and found guilty of witchcraft. Most were simply victims of circumstance. But the people in the land of Antioch didn't seem to realize when you play with fire, sooner or later you get burnt. Reoria, the capital city. There you won't find more vibrant colors in all the land. Full of beautiful buildings and nature growing in all directions. Yet at his heart lies Black Church. It said the church was once the purest of whites. But so many witches have been burned, the church is scorched with ash and soot from top to bottom. Throughout the land, no priest has reached greater heights in the art of solar magic than the Silver Fox. It was his sole duty at Black Church to protect the city under his control. It seems as skilled as he was, he failed to notice a Luna Witch was blossoming under his nose. Ursula, deacon of Black Church, was second in command to the Silver Fox himself. There was a time she seemed the most devoted of all to the cause. Unfortunately, times change. Recently married and with child, she thought her life was going places she had always dreamed of. But the Black Plague was spreading and fast. Ursula's child was among the victims. Ursula had turned her sights to the Luna magic in the hope that she could see her baby one more time. The Silver Fox did not remain blind forever. Tampering with Luna magic would change a person beyond recognition. Perhaps at first he didn't want to see it, but now with the telltale lines and dark recesses in her eyes, he had no choice. June 17, 1505, Ursula was found guilty of witchcraft and sentenced to death by flames. Ursula's husband, Esmond, loved her unconditionally. For ten years he scoured the darkest places of Entreoc, looking for something to fill the gap left behind. None of it was the same. Nothing could fill the void. He prayed to Sel for help, and she answered. A soul for a soul. That was the deal. He took a young girl from the streets in the dead of night and offered her in Ursula's place. Together again at last. In an ideal world, simply have one another would be enough. But Ursula found no forgiveness in her darkened soul. Silver Fox had to pay, and tonight, Ursula marched upon Riori with her army of reanimated corpses. She destroyed everything in her wake in an attempt to lure out the Silver Fox. She knew he would come to the defense of his people, even if it meant facing his old steward. He was no match for her powers, even in her weakened state. He was left dying in the latest Deacon Kinsley's arms. Ursula was carried off by Esmond after vowing revenge to kill all who stood in her way, to reanimate her child, and to shroud the land black with ash. <laughs> With the Silver Fox dead and buried, Kinsley was appointed Archpriest of Black Church. His ceremony was one for the ages, with the whole city reveling in the celebration. Yet Kinsley knew, Ursula was still out there, somewhere, veiled in the darkness. Many began to believe she had died, but Kinsley could still feel her, as if the air had a disgusting chill to it. He instigated a great hunt to capture the last remaining witch in Entriarch alive. She needed to be reduced to ash once again, and he needed to be the one to start the fire. Hundreds of soldiers banded together and set out searching the land for any trace of her. But Ursula had recruited her own army, those that had seen the real power of Luna Magic. 
Crescent City has sent word to Black Church, begging for Kinsley's help. Ursula's lunatics slipped into the city last night and slit the throats of every child they found, whilst their parents slept peacefully. Kinsley rode out that very night in hope to get there before dawn, ready to set up the defenses and protect the city against Ursula's revenge.